John Devine, played for Arsenal in the 70s and 80s and also represented his country, the Republic of Ireland, at every level, including senior international level. Towards the end of his successful playing career, John turned his talents to coaching, a subject he continues to pursue with a passion to this day. John currently holds the UEFA Pro Licence Coaching Cert. This is UEFA's highest coaching qualification. John also worked for 10 years under Sir Alex Ferguson as Manchester United Academy Director in Ireland. Hello and welcome to this preview of my Guided Discovery programme, which is designed to promote player development in a unique and innovative manner. The development of young players is my key focus of attention and this unique programme delivers results in a non-competitive environment and most importantly in a fun environment for the young people. In Europe, Spain, Germany and Belgium are presently the most successful countries in the field of player development where they engage in a 10-year programme with a view to long-term results. My guided discovery programme is the result of many years of research aimed at matching and even exceeding what those countries have achieved. To this end, I have designed a coaching method that involves a three-phase approach to the development of young players. Phase one, of which you will get a flavour here, covers the age groups 8 to 10 and teaches the fundamentals of passing, control and dribbling. It also introduces the concepts of soccer intelligence and awareness and it does this within a fun environment with age-appropriate game structures. This fundamental phase focuses primarily on technique. Phase 2 covers the age groups 11 to 15 and introduces the elite player program. And Phase 3 covers the age groups 16 to 18 and involves preparation for the senior professional game. Let's take a look at some detail now, starting with the pitch. In this area of 60 by 40, which normally accommodates a 7v7 pitch with 14 players, we have two 3v3 pitches facilitating 24 players. Each pitch is 24 yards long by 20 yards wide. The scoring zone at each end is 6 yards and the central section is 12 yards. And moving on to the care area above, which is for practice, the dimensions of this area are 12 yards by 8 yards. Looking at pitch 2, it has exactly the same dimensions except there are no goals. These are the pitch dimensions recommended for the phase 1 age group. The action you will see today involves mainly six-year-olds for this introductory demonstration. Each squad consists of 12 players, three teams of four in different colour bibs. For older age groups, the pitch dimensions are increased to suit the age and ability of the players. Let me touch on the philosophy of the programme. This first phase is non-competitive and fun, and is designed to promote player development over and above the concept of winning. The key benefits are age-appropriate games with age-appropriate challenges. Each player receives equal playtime irrespective of their abilities and each receive approximately 70% more touches of the ball. Player rotations allow every player to experience different positions and with no specialisation in the first phase, players are guaranteed to practice both feet and are far more balanced as a result. These guided discovery games have been described as emulating the fun and freedom of street soccer, which now of course is relegated to another age. My guided discovery program is the coaching method which develops soccer intelligence and awareness by allowing the players to make mistakes and in due course solve their own problems. All teams are mixed up to 10 years of age to encourage social interaction and this in turn promotes an ethos of respect and anti-racism. The game always starts with the central player with the ball who passes to one of his teammates out wide. As you can see, the yellow team must retreat behind the halfway line and cannot cross it until the wide player touches the ball. When a goal is scored, the same positions are taken up by both teams for the game restart. As you can see, the yellows retreat back to the halfway line and the greens take up their triangular shape. Let's take a look at player rotations, which happen every minute of a five minute game. 
The players on the right of the coach go to the right. The players on the left go to the left. The furthest player from the coach sprints around the back of the two goals, back to the coach, while the other players occupy the spaces left. Each individual game lasts 15 minutes, two five minute periods on the pitch and one five minute practice in the care area. The greens now enter the pitch to play the yellows while the oranges go away for practice for five minutes. There are no throw-ins, players can use the nearest ball provided to pass or dribble back into the middle section within three seconds. This promotes awareness and soccer intelligence. There are no corners or goal kicks. If a defender plays the ball behind the goal line, the opposition player restarts at the six yard cone by a pass or dribble back into the middle section. This maximizes play time and ball contact. One of the unique features of this program is the concept of a care area. This stands for Corrective Active Recovery Evaluation. This area is designed for correction and practice. Due to the influence of modern technologies, children don't play soccer on the streets anymore and as a consequence, they don't have opportunities to practice and have contact with the ball. I've designed this area to maximize their practice periods and increase their potential to master the ball. Over the past three years, we have seen the results. It is a source of great satisfaction to our coaches to know that the guided discovery program delivers and that so many young players have already reaped the benefits. Let's go to the warm-up with Paul. In warm-ups at this age, you must always use footballs. Josh, come on over here. So just stand here, Josh. So what I want you to do is, I want you to move the ball with your right foot three times, look over your shoulder, and then do it with your left foot, and look over your shoulder two or three times, okay? So we can start, you come towards me. Yeah, touch, to, to look over your shoulder. The key factors here are touches of the ball with both feet and looking over the shoulder to develop awareness. Here is the dribbling game. The goal is scored by stopping the ball inside the opponent's scoring zone with their foot on top of the ball. Let's look at some dribbling action. Notice how relaxed the players are on the ball with no pressure or fear of failure. The dribbling game allows the players the freedom to improvise and experiment with the ball, with encouragement to try new things in a specific appropriate game. Let's look at the four goal game. The focus is on ball control. Note the player is on his toes, alert and ready to receive the ball with a nice open body shape to change the play to the opposite goal. Here is an example of young players relaxed playing out from the back with good passing and control techniques. These six-year-olds already show an awareness of wit and vision for a great true pass. What a goal! The individual player can also show some real magic and a great fun celebration for all to enjoy. Look at the triangle shape of the yellow team for balance and great vision for a superb through pass to score. Here is a moment of pure magic from the Guide the Discovery program. In phase one, the emphasis is on fun while still focusing on the fundamentals. This maximizes the player's potential to produce moments like this. And note his celebration with his teammate. Let's watch this again. Pure magic. So there you have it, a brief insight into just part of phase one of our Guide to Discovery program and its potential to change the way players are developed. Watch the space for news on phase two and three. My team and I will be rolling out more material over the coming weeks. 
If you would like more details on the programme or information on upcoming seminars, please get in touch with me or any of my team. I'm John Devine. Thanks for watching.